Hi everyone. In today's video, we are going to transfer the device configuration workload to our pilot Intune connection, uh, which has one Windows 10 device, uh, Windows 10 1803. The SCCM version which I am running is SCCM 1910. So currently I have compliance policies, uh, workload transfer to pilot Intune and client apps uh, workload transfer to pilot Intune. In my previous video, we saw that uh, once we transfer the client apps workload, we were able to deploy the application from Intune as well as SCCM uh, on the Windows 10 machine, which is being co-managed. The application which we deployed from Intune was showing in company portal app and the application from SCCM was showing in software center. So today we will transfer the device configuration workload and see uh, what all things we can do from Intune after that. So before we transfer it, uh, let me move it over to my Intune portal and apply a configuration profile to my Windows 10 machine and see whether it works or not without transferring the workload. So I'm going to create a profile here, a configuration profile for Windows 10. So I will name it test. Win 10 profile testing co management and I will apply it to Windows 10 and later. So we'll have to select a profile type now. I will try to apply a profile layer uh, which we can see taking effect on the Windows 10 machine. So what's better than applying a desktop background? So this is the setting. Sets a desktop background that user cannot change. Okay, so I have to specify a URL. So let me find one and paste it here. This is a URL which I will apply. So let me paste it here. Click on OK. OK. Create. Now it has been created and I will assign it to my Windows 10 computer. I already have a group for it. Okay, now it has been created and applied. So let me sync the policy on my Windows 10 machine. Mm, all devices. Ideally, it should not work because uh, we haven't transferred the configuration workload to Intune, only the client app and compliance policy. So it should not work. I will open my Windows 10 computer now. Okay, nothing as yet. Let me sync the policy here. Policy sync has been completed, but nothing here. The wallpaper hasn't changed. Let's look in Intune now. Okay, here it says not applicable. So that means the uh, policy is not applicable to the machine because uh, the workload hasn't been transferred. So now I will transfer the workload from SCCM and see if it works or not. So whenever we transfer device configuration workload with that, uh, it automatically transfers the endpoint protection and resource access policies. Once I transfer the workload, any configuration baseline which I have applied will not work. So let's go there and check the configuration items and the configuration baselines which I have. So I created this configuration baseline yesterday and there is a checkbox which says always apply this baseline even for co-managed devices so once i transfer the workload it will not work 
so in order to make my configuration baseline still apply even if the workload has been transferred I have to check this box so I'm going to do that now and then transfer the workload so we, we have to select the collection from here so this is my pilot intune collection now I have selected my pilot intune connection uh, which has my Windows 10 machine in it and transferred the workload now if we check in the log file co-management handler it should show us some activity earlier the number changed to 67 now I think it should increase so let me force the policy okay now we see the activity here now the expected value is 71 uh, now 79 111 so it has started to take its effect uh, it will take some time and then we will force the policy from Intune for this device and see whether the wallpaper applies or not currently it's showing not applicable here so I will pause the video and come back after some time now if I look the device uh, in Intune uh, I see Intune manage workloads earlier it was only showing compliance policy and client apps now we see resource access profiles device configuration and endpoint protection this resource access profiles uh, specifies the settings we have for uh, VPN Wi-Fi email uh, certificates on devices endpoint protection specifies BitLocker Windows Defender settings windows uh, information protection settings we will sync the device from here now now let's look in the configuration test win 10 profile okay earlier it was showing not applicable now in the intune portal it shows succeeded after we moved the workload so we will go back to the windows 10 machine and see the uh, desktop there okay we are on the Windows 10 machine uh, the wallpaper is saying uh, it could be because it's a remote session so let's look at the display settings okay it says the display settings can't be changed from a remote session uh, maybe that's why uh, let's try to change wallpaper some settings are hidden or managed by our organization so I believe it has applied that setting it's just that we don't see that particular wallpaper because it's a Hyper-V machine and a remote session uh, because this some settings are hidden or managed by your organization normally comes whenever you have applied a policy so why don't we remove this policy and see whether this setting goes away or not so I'm going to remove the policy now devices configuration profile this is the one assignments so I'm going to remove it and save it and now I will sync the device now this is my Windows 10 computer I have removed the policy and let's check the status in Intune portal yeah um, yeah I don't see my wallpaper setting here and if I go under personalization okay now I can change the wallpaper so let me test it uh, with another setting uh, not a wallpaper one because uh, we can't see that being applied here but we know it's working because earlier we were getting a message here that some settings are managed by your administrator and it's gone after we remove the policy so let me find some other policy which we can apply for Windows 10 and then test that one 
we will create a policy in Intune now and apply it to the device. I will name it new test policy for Windows 10 and later. In the profile type, I will select We will apply this uh, prevent changing proxy setting. So we will enable this. So user should not be able to configure proxy settings after this policy is applied. So this has been enabled and now I will assign it to the group for our Windows 10 device. Let's uh, also see whether we are currently able to change the proxy setting or not. Yeah, currently we are able to change the proxy settings. So let's sync the device with Intune and see whether it gets applied or not. Okay, it shows uh, pending, so let's wait a few minutes. Now it is showing succeeded, so let's go to Windows 10 machine and check there. Okay, so it says some settings are managed by your system administrator, so that's a good sign. Okay, now we cannot change proxy, so the setting is being applied from Intune now. What if we have the same setting applied from group policy on this machine as well, which enables the use of proxy for users? Will that work or not? So let's apply that policy from uh, AD group policy and see how it goes. So let me go to my domain controller first. This is my domain controller. Let me create a group policy object and apply it. I will have to look for the same setting to allow proxy change here in the group policy. So I believe it should be somewhere under computer policies, admin templates. Windows components, Internet Explorer, somewhere here. So let's look for that. I'm going to pause the video till the time I find that particular setting. So here is the setting prevent changing proxy settings. So I'm going to disable it so that it conflicts with the policy from Intune. And it's already targeted to my domain to all computers and users so it should get applied once I do a GP update slash force on my Windows 10 machine GP update is complete so let me see whether this policy is coming from uh, domain or not on this machine so i will run rsop and test that admin templates windows components interest for so here it says disable so it is being applied so let's test in internet explorer which setting is winning
okay now I can change the setting so now we know if we have a policy being applied from Intune and also from group policy and they conflict the group policy one will win but uh, there is a workaround for that also so we gonna test that and make the Intune policy win over group policy we will create a CSP policy and apply it to device which will say MDM wins over group policy so in that case uh, I really know the setting applied from Intune should override the setting applied from group policy so I'm going to create a profile Windows 10 and later so it would be a custom configuration you can name it anything this OMA URI is specific and here's the whole path of it device vendor MSFT policy config control policy conflict MDM wins over GP data type should be integer and the value should be 1 so we will save it now and create this now we will assign it to our device to take some time after we sync the policy for the windows 10 machine for it to take effect so let me pause the video and come back once the sync completes let's check the configuration here MDM wins over GPU it still shows pending let's refresh it let's check on the machine itself in the event viewer So here it shows MDM wins over GPO. GP policy value is 1 now. If we look earlier, go back. Earlier it was uh, 0. So our policy has taken effect. In the Intune console, it still shows pending. Okay, now it shows succeeded here as well. So now let's check on the Windows 10 machine in the Internet Explorer what setting we see there hopefully now the Intune policy should apply and we should not be able to change the proxy okay it says some settings are managed oh yes the Intune policy now wins over group policy and uh, we are not able to change the Internet Explorer settings so so what we see in the video so far is that the workload for device configuration has been moved to Intune and after that we were able to apply the policies from Intune however if there is any group policy which is already being applied and it conflicts with the Intune setting then the group policy will win and to override that we will have to create a CSP which says MDM win over GP and then the MDM uh, setting wins also if you have any configuration baseline applied and you still want it to be applied to the device then you will have to check this box always apply this baseline even for co-managed clients after you transfer the workload so this was all in this video I will see you in my next one bye bye